What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's live stream training. My name's Nick. If you don't know me, well, I'm sure you guys do. Nick Kitsay from Travel Boss here, guys. You guys are either coming live from our Facebook groups, our my, my own profile, our fan page, or on YouTube. Let us know in the comments where you're coming in from. If you're coming in live, hashtag live. If you're watching this as a replay, hashtag replay in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. Man, I am jacked up and excited. I have a special, special guest speaker that I'm bringing on today uh, that's going to be taking uh, charge with us in our five-day Explode Your Digital Downline Challenge coming up in May. Super excited, guys, and I'm excited to bring him on. But obviously, before I want to bring him on, I want to share all the good stuff. I want to share the little nuggets. I want him to talk. I'm going to get him to actually share some really key pointers with you guys. And if you're a network marketer, let us know in the comments. If you're an entrepreneur of some sort, let us know in the comments. We're excited for you guys. What I'm going to do right now, guys, as I bring him on after this short little video, I'm going to show you a little video. It's going to just share a little bit about who this, who this special speaker is, right? And then I'm going, to, I'm going to bring him on, introduce you to him, and uh, we're going to rock and roll today's little live stream training with you guys. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. So give me one second and let's get this video playing. All right, guys. So that little clip of who who we're about to bring, who we're about to bring on. Super excited, guys. This uh, I, I'm still going to call him a young gentleman because he has been uh, a young man, a, a, a young mentor. He's vibrant. He's a sexy guy. This guy is the man. And if uh, like my my journey with my wife, we've been in network marketing for six to seven years. We've been entrepreneurs for nearly for nearly ten years. We've been on and off with businesses, but this. This mentor of ours, this guest speaker that I'm about to bring on to you guys has been a part of our life for the last six, seven years. And we've known him uh, from our previous network marketing company. He's always been a pleasure to work with, a pleasure to talk with. He's been there to support us through the, through the ups and the downs. He's given us guidance. Uh, he's even given me guidance right now on having a family as Monica and I are about to have a family on the way. So this, this, this guy, this speaker that we're about to bring on has been an absolute pleasure to have in our lives. He is an eight-figure earner, guys, in network marketing. He's a network marketing professional. He knows his craft. He knows what he's been doing. He's been doing it for over 20 years now, right? He has hundreds of thousands of people in his own downline, in his own company. All right, guys, he has had the success that we've always dreamed of and maybe you're still aspiring probably you're probably just going out there every single day and you're working it right in your network marketing business and this speaker guy this guy has been through the battles through the failures through the ups and downs the roller coasters and has made it to an eight figure earner top income earner top income earner in his own previous companies and now in his new company as well i want to bring on the man the myth the legend mr jefferson Santos, so give me a second, guys. I'm going to bring him on right now. And I'm just going to make the layout awesome here. And here he is. I'm going to bring him on right now. Uh, there we go. All right. All right. You're here, Jeff. How are What's you? What's up?
Well, no, we oh, I thought back. we were counting down we're again back. for a launch. I'm back. We're, we're back. We're back. Jefferson, how are you, my friend? <laughs> man, I'm doing awesome, man. What's up, Nick? You, uh, you look I great. Excited, Energy is brother. popping. It's great, dude. What's up? I'm excited, man. I'm excited. It's a little bit rainy here in Wisconsin, but I know you've got a nice sunny day down there in Dallas, Texas. Man, we're, I'm jacked up, man. I get you. I actually have, uh, actually have a, a, I believe I have a great friendship with you, a relationship with you, a business partnership. And we're going somewhere. We're going far. We've got this vision, right? And uh, I'm absolutely excited definitely for you to be our main guest speaker in our five-day Explode Your Digital Downline Challenge for Network Marketers. And uh, I'm just excited to have you here, man. I know there's a lot of people that know you. Uh, some people that don't know you, we're actually in five Facebook groups. We're on YouTube now. We're on a fan page profile. We're everywhere. So people are going to ask, who is this guy? Like, who is he? What? Where's he from? What's he do? Like all this stuff. So I want to just get into it, um, Jefferson. And if you can just share, you know, some key highlights uh, of your journey and your story in your network marketing career, in your entrepreneurial journey, where you started, you know, where was that, that bit where you pivoted with that, that, that time where you, you just got that epiphany and you took action, you took, and you got the success that you wanted. So take it away, my friend. You bet, Nick. Thanks for having me too. And, uh, you know, those of you that are watching right now, you're, you're probably, one of the questions you might be wondering is, is network marketing for me, is entrepreneurship for me? And I think that, and I believe that if you want freedom in your life, you, you have to be an entrepreneur. You gotta be a network marketer. You wanna create leverage for yourself. And so for me, my mother actually told me about network marketing back a long time ago. And she invited me to this doctor's house and I saw a bunch of circles drawn on a, on, on a whiteboard. And I'm thinking football, you know, cause I played football in, in a junior high, high school, college, but just a quick backstory to show you the the type of person that you, we all need to be to win is you, mm. you got you got to persevere. You got to go through the rough patches, and you got to get through it. So, I literally I played football since fourth grade, and and literally almost every team I played with, we had good athletes, but we didn't win as a team. So junior high, high school, we didn't win. Went to U.S. Naval Academy. Okay. The year I, we didn't win, the year I left the Naval Academy, they won a bowl game. So I didn't get that championship. Every young athlete want, wants to kind of validate they're a winner, right? Then I go to Texas Christian University, TCU here in Texas, played football there. We lose, but they win a bowl game the year that I left. So I missed two bowl rings, two championships, right? Then I get started in network marketing. I struggle for almost nine, nine and a half years you know, sponsoring three people in my first two years, spending more than I made, all these different things. And I'm sitting there looking at 19 years of struggle, literally from fourth grade, losing in football through all those years to starting an entrepreneur and, and not winning. And, and so what I want you to understand is this, is that just because you have the want and the desire and the motivation, the energy does not guarantee you're going to be successful immediately. Okay. Mm. It means you're, you're going to go there. You're okay. Listen, there's when you're flying on an airplane, you're going to your destination. There's turbulence, but you end up getting at your destination. Even though there's turbulence, you got to fly through the turbulence, right? Turbulence doesn't mean you're going to crash. Turbulence means there's turbulence. Okay. There's uneven air, whether it's too, it's the, the, the hot air is going up or you're going through a cloud or there's a storm or you're on the back, back end of something, whatever that is, I don't know, but you're going to go through that struggle. So so what's crazy when I first heard about the industry is I didn't have any preconceived notions of network marketing. I just thought it was cool. It's like, dude, I was never the fastest kid. I was never the smartest kid in class, never the fastest kid or the strongest kid on the team. And I was like, dude, maybe, maybe I could just team up with some people and, and I could I can do this thing. And you know what really what I, I really fell in love with it when I got introduced to personal development, mm -hmm. developing yourself. And a lot of people don't think, here's the funny part. Most people don't think they need personal development, but we all do, right? Your income <laughs> follows your personal growth. And I think one thing that we're going to be doing in this challenge, in addition to teaching you things, is we're also going to be teaching you the mindset around those things and the why behind those things, right? I think that's really, really important. And what really turned the corner for me was personal development, was sticking to it, never quitting. Did I quit in my head several times? Yes. Was I pissed off? Was I frustrated? Yes. If you don't, here's the thing. As an entrepreneur, if you're not throwing your heart over the bar and it doesn't mean anything, then yeah, you're probably not going to feel like quitting. But but if, you, if you're putting your meaning into it and your heart and your soul into it and you're giving it everything you got, 
and you're frustrated and you have some of those days where you want to quit, good. That, that's what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to feel that way because you're supposed to feel it, understand it's happening, but step kind of step out of your side outside yourself for a second and be like, okay, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm going through right now. Okay. It's normal. Jefferson said it. Nick said it. Monica said it. What, whoever said it, right? I've heard other people say it. Okay, that. let me just push through that. And that's where the champions live. That's where the winners are. We push through that several times. Because if everybody if everybody was successful day one, I mean, it's what is success without failure, right? And, and so for me, it was that attachment to learning, okay? And I know not all of us are lear lifelong learners, but Here's one thing is that leaders are readers first, leaders are learners first, and leaders are followers first. And I had to learn mm -hmm. to be a really good follower. And guess what? I'm still a follower of people that know more than me because we can learn from everybody. We can learn from everybody. Why? Because we all have a unique perspective. I can learn from a 21-year-old uh, young woman or young man because maybe they're doing stuff on TikTok or certain other platforms or they're doing something that I haven't been doing because I'm over here doing my thing, they're doing their thing, and we can share information with each other. And I think that's one powerful part about this challenge is you're gonna learn some things about yourself. You're gonna learn some things about things that you're not doing, or maybe you knew how to do it, but you weren't really doing it all the way. You weren't, you weren't doing it consistently. You were you know, just, you know, uh, they, they, they call self-development, not shelf development, meaning you bought the stuff, but you didn't do it, right? You bought the book. You saw the title. And I'm guilty of that too. I got several books in my bookshelf that I haven't read yet, but I feel good because I bought the book. I feel great. You know, that's cool, but you got to read the book too. You got to do the work. You got to get into it. And so, but back to the, the pivot for me, the pivot when, when I turned that corner from, you know, never making more than $30,000 in a year to making, then making six figures, then multiple seven figures is my come from. And it might sound cliche, might sound cheesy, but I realized this back in 2003 where I need to help others. I need to make their goals my goals. My come from needs to be not to feed my wallet or my pocketbook, but to feed their wallet and their pocketbook. And what can I do to help serve them? And I know that's a big buzzword now, and that's obvious because because there's not a lot of success principles. And yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna hear a lot of the same things. The question is, are you applying those things? Are you applying those things? Are you doing excellence? And are you doing it consistently, right? And so if you do get sick of hearing some of the same things, good. Because that means you're on the right track. That means you gotta push through that and go, okay, how am I doing that? Like hey, on a scale from one to 10, how am I doing on what they just said, even though I rolled my eyes inside my head, because I heard that same quote a million times, but that's what turned the corner for me because I didn't have any money. So I was looking at people like a dollar sign. That was a problem. The money, the money ran away from me. The money mm -hmm. ran away from me. And that's one thing that was a big, big, big learning curve for me uh, that I had to learn the hard way. And I ran up my credit cards. I, you know, I, I ruined my credit, all that kind of stuff as an entrepreneur trying to learn, trying to figure it all out. And that's, and that's just par for the course. So if you did ruin your credit, you ran up some credit cards, good for you. Now you know how to, now you know what to do. Now you need to get out of it and you can coach other people through it as well. So anyways, um, I love it. yeah, I'm excited okay. about this challenge, buddy. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be freaking awesome. This is, that's, that's awesome. I love it, Jefferson. And like, um, guys, let's, let's tell you guys, if you guys have questions for Jefferson Santos right now or throughout this training right now, leave the questions in the comments for me. I will check them out at the end. If we don't get to answer them today, we'll answer them for you in the challenge. We'll make sure all that's getting answered. But leave your questions in the comments, guys. So, Jeff, uh, you know, bro, like if it, it's taking you, well, it took you nine years to, you know, get through all those failures. You said you had, you sponsored three people in your network marketing business in nine years. And then what was like, what was that moment? What was that, uh, that light bulb moment, that epiphany that just went off and you just went boom, like, from three sales to multiple seven figures, eight figures, to a, now a speaker on stage to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people all over the world. So, uh, so it was it was three people in my first two years. So nine years, okay. I probably sponsored a lot more than that. But, okay, but for bad, me, it bad. was yeah, it was a combination of, you know, when, when you start to develop yourself as a person, you start to you know you start to learn how to talk differently. You, you start to learn how to cast vision. And I think that's real important that 
when, when I was talking to people, I was talking about like, you know, closing them on the money, you know, and the thing is, is you don't close people on the money. Yeah. The money has to happen. They gotta, they gotta pay for the whatever to get in and go and all this stuff. But I was casting the vision. I was talking to them in terms of what we're going to be doing together once they've joined the team, what their mm-hmm. life's going to look like in the next, you know, 30, 60, 90 days in the next five years and casting that vision of seeing them on stage, getting this award and help and, and giving them the vision of seeing their teammates on stage. See, it's kind of like multi-level vision, right? It's like, you got to, most people have a vision for themselves, right? So it's like, you got to give them a vision for themselves and then give them a vision for their team. Cause they have, people don't think that way. They're just thinking, okay, you know, you know, travel leadership. There's five level levels of leadership. Level number one is my life sucks. Level level two, I'm sorry. Level level one is life sucks. Level number two is my life sucks. There's a differentiator. They know that, okay, my life is different from your life. My sucks, but yours is okay. That's level two. But level three is I'm great. And the thing is, is a lot of us, we're focused, a lot of personal development books are focused on yourself and I'm great and all this stuff, right? But there's another, there's two other levels above that. It's we're great, level four, and then life's great and we're all great, which is level five. There's beauty in everything. So, so I think it's important to know that, you know, yeah, let's get to level three. Let's be great. That's cool. But for what? Well, to help other people to make, to make, we're great, right? And so you want to be living at level four and five all the time. You don't stay at level five all the time. You go level four and level five, you go back and forth, right? But but for me, it was uh, it was it was the certainty of who I was and what my purpose was, and my purpose was to to impact people, to to share something that I learned that impacted me that I want to now share with somebody else to impact them, and shorten their learning curve. Because for me, I think my learning curve was pretty long. I mean, pretty long. And so, my, one of my driving forces is to shorten people's learning curve. Okay, so if I can shorten your learning curve an extra two years or three months or seven years or something like that, then it feels good to me. That, that's what drives me, right? So that's why I love to learn. I love to teach and all that type of stuff, right? And so for me, what drove me was the personal development, then teaching and casting the vision. And then that beca- and then I became the person that people wanted to follow. Well, Jefferson, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. There's a vibe that you give off. There's a certainty that you give off. There's a texture in your language to where there's a there, there's like the period of time where you know when you meet somebody and they just start talking for a little bit and you're like shit that guy's or that gal's got something going on <laughs> like they, they yeah, know their yeah. shit you know what I mean and so not trying to impress other people but you're just speaking from your wealth of knowledge that you have I mean Jim Rome talks about it all the time when you speak that needs to be just the tip of the stuff you actually know right you never want to run out of stuff to say. When you're hanging out with friends for 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? You want to have so you want to have such a deep well of information of yes and marketing and personal development and helping people in life and all these different things and your hobbies and talents and things that you like to do. And, and you could talk about that and listening. And listening. Two years, one mouth, right? Because I was kind of talking about, you know, teaching and learning, but but it's the listening part. And and a lot of people are a little bit um I actually listen way more. Well, because we have two years, one mouth. I listen way more than I talk. When I'm in a group of people, it's interesting for me. Um, I'm an introvert. I'm, I've learned to be an extrovert. Because um, if, if uh, for me in my head, it's like, if I'm an extrovert, I can make some money. Yeah, you can be an introvert and make money too. But for me, I wanted to do both. But it was, I wanted to learn both. But interesting part is when I'm in a group of people, I'm usually the one listening. Because I, I, I want to hear what they're saying. I want to learn from them. You know, and if I want to pipe in, yeah, I might pipe in or something like that. But I'm usually the one listening most of the time. I'm not the one trying to drive the whole conversation and commandeer the whole dinner table and stuff. That's not really me. And so that's one thing that if you're kind of scoring yourself on your listening right now, how much are you talking and how much are you actually listening? And that's to your prospects and obviously your customers and then, you know, just your friends and family, you know, because people are telling you what's going on in their life. People are telling you how to recruit them if 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 they're open to something, right? People tell right. you how to recruit them. They will tell you what's going on in their life, what they need fixing. And if you have something, a need or a service or a product or whatever that can help them, share it. Don't be a don't be a a, a, a secret 
you know, uh, person, you know, a secret agent. You're like, you're keeping everything a, a, a secret. No, I mean, let, let people know what you got, right? Because there's a reason why products and services are created because they give value to people, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I love it. Let, Jeff, let's um, let's dive into branding because I know um, people who are in the travel bus space or that um, who are people in our current network marketing company, um, we've told people to brand themselves and not their company. I know that's a big one. That's maybe a little bit of a a, a bit of confusion in the network marketing space. Definitely while. We're evolving. We're in a pandemic. We're in COVID nineteen. Things are changing. Could you just share a little bit on how you've branded yourself and what you've gone through? A little bit. It's a little bit. Not, not too much. I don't want to. I don't want to get everyone the nuggets right now because I know we're gonna go into this. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna. We got. We got to live the good stuff with the challenge too, right? Yeah, man. Just did a little. Just a little taste because there's people out there like, do I need to brand myself? I'm a network marketer. Do I need to brand myself? Yeah. The answer is yes. Because people follow people, not companies. Okay. Mm. And, and, and yes, of course, our companies are amazing. Of course, that is your business. That is your, what you call your back end. But what's your front end? Your front end is you. Your front end is your face. Your front end is what do you, what, what other value you add in the marketplace that you can, you know, give to people. Right. And then, and then when they find out about you and they go, well, what, what else are you doing? You can offer them you know, your business uh, and your opportunity or your product or service that can help benefit them as well. But you got to have something. You don't want to bait the hook with a hook, right? We're talking about marketing here, right? We're network marketers. We're not network one-time sale people, right? We're not network sit on your butt. Like we're network marketers. Marketing, marketing means you, a message is repeated over time that makes, that makes sales uh, superfluous. That's a big word. I heard, you know, in one of those marketing masterminds, you know, <laughs> meaning the sale is all, is already like literally you're just taking orders because the sale already happened because your messaging and your repeated mess messaging and patterns over time. And so, yeah, yeah, we were in a pandemic and yeah, it's still happening, but ch things are changing now. Things are changing and you need to get yourself out there because there's going to be a, the biggest release of human energy over the next, you know, several months um, comparative to World War II is what is what their historians are saying. Because people haven't seen their friends, people haven't seen their family, people just want to, they want to change. They're being cooped up for too long. And so it's time. It's time to get it there and talk and talk and put yourself out there. And who cares about what other people think? You need to put yourself out there because other people are. And what's going to happen is you're going to be, you're going to be silent. You're going to be, you're going to disappear as a person if you don't at least put yourself out there and do certain things every day. Okay. Um, and, and I'm still working on that too. I mean, there's people that are posting way more than I do. They do way more lives than I do. And yeah, I got to step that up too. Of course, you got to do what you need to do and you have to grow into that. I'm not telling you to go and just do everything all right now, but you are your brand. You know, the book out there called brand called you. And we're in that, we're in that age right now where we all, we all can be a radio station, right? By doing podcasts, we can be a TV show on YouTube we can be a live show on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. We can be whatever, whatever we want to be. And so you have to find out, first of all, know who you are and who is your prospect and speak to that prospect. And we'll, and we'll talk about all that stuff in the challenge and, and uh, we'll go a lot deeper on that. And we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. We're going to be doing it together. You know, we're not going to be doing it like by yourself in a silo, like, oh, what do I do? I don't know what to do right now. No, we're going to be together. We're going to be doing it. It's going to be great. It's going to be warm and fuzzy in the campfire. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're going to make it happen, man. Woo! Love it. Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate that that piece of advice there because there's a lot of I, – I definitely didn't know that, you know, 12 months ago. I really didn't. And the fact that you said it and that you're an eight-figure earner, you've been through 20-plus years of network marketing. Now, other people out there in network marketing go, okay, I need to do it. So I love that as a, as a gold nugget right there. And Jefferson, before we before we head off, I know you're gonna go. I know you're busy. I know you got masterminds, live events. You got teams in Europe, Asia, America, Canada, Mexico. They're everywhere, right? Um, what is one thing that you're just super excited about sharing within the challenge to all our challenges um, in the Tribox Challenge? There's. It's hard to pick one thing, but you know, really, it's about it's about up leveling who you are to yourself and to the world. That's what I'm excited about. Like, 
like giving you the confidence and us being together and talking about what's one little baby step you can do to move you forward to branding yourself and getting out there. What's big, what's one big giant step you can do. You know, the importance of branding yourself and getting out there is key because people meet that before they meet you. And you have a chance to reinvent yourself right now, right now. Okay. Yeah. 2020 is in the past. We can't. Okay. We're already in the second quarter of 2021 right now. And what are you doing about it? What are you doing right now about yourself, your business and your brand? And I think mm -hmm. the perfect thing is to get your butt in the challenge and challenge yourself to go to your next level. There's always another gear. There's always another level. Listen, we're all playing too small. We're all thinking too small. Let's think bigger. Let's do this together. And that's what I'm excited about is leveling up who you are to the world. Yeah. Love. And Jefferson, can you, can you see the link? Can you see the link below there? You see the video? There it there? is. Man, you want to tell people to register? Where do they go register, Jefferson? Where do they go? <laughs> they, they go to the link down here, guys. Travelbosslifestyle.com slash explode your digital downline. Go there. Woo! Screenshot that. In case you can't type it all that fast, screenshot that real quick and get in there and get in the challenge. You know you need to do it. You know you want to step up your braining game. You know you want to, you know you need to know like, okay, how do I create content? What do I do first? What do I do second? Guys, we're going to be covering all that stuff in there. So don't worry about it. Just register for it and get ready for the challenge because it's going to be great. And it's a new day. It's a whole new day. Every, every one of us is our own brand. And, uh, you know, your competitors, meaning everybody else that's in network marketing, every other entrepreneur out there, guess what? They're branding themselves. So what makes you di any different? You got to learn it. Exactly. So sign up for the challenge so you know how to, how to differentiate, yourself, differentiate yourself in the marketplace so, you, so, so your tribe can find you and you can go help them. Boom, baby. Guys, the link is also in the description above or below this video, wherever you're watching in from right now. Guys, go to trialboslifestyle.com forward slash explode your digital download. Jefferson Santos. Thank you so much, brother, for coming on today. Appreciate your time. I value you. Thank you for your friendship and business partnership. Um, I'm just excited for the challenge coming up. And uh, let's go, brother. Let's go. All right. All right, guys. See you in the challenge, guys. Woo! Rock and roll. See you later, guys. Thanks so much. See you guys soon. Bye.